Hey everyone, it's Justin here for The Cabin Depot, your off-grid solution provider. Today, we are talking about the number one solution for your number two problem. Here's a hot poop on Cinderella incinerating toilet. Hey everyone, we got our toilets all unboxed here and before I go ahead and show you everything that came in the box, let's talk about what an incineration toilet is. Uh, an incineration toilet is a toilet uh, that evaporates the moisture that is left within our waste and then it incinerates the rest. So it's going to dehydrate all of your waste, it's going to evaporate, come out the ventilation system and then all that's left at the end is a fine grey ash that is safe and sterile. Uh, now the majority of our waste is moisture. so there's not really going to be a lot of gray ash left at the end. Typically you can get about 120 uses before you have to change the ash container. So yeah, let's have a look at the contents that came in the box. This toilet right here is a Cinderella Comfort. It is an electric model, runs on 240 volt um, power supply. Uh, there is a gas model that runs off of propane and a 12 volt power source. That's DC power, of course. So included in the box, with the toilet was some liners. You get 500 free liners. You need to use a liner every single time you use a toilet. Um, it came with some handy dandy manuals. Congratulations on your new Cinderella toilet. Attention, make sure you have a professional install or it's installed correctly or it could void your warranty. It's good information to have. So we have the Cinderella comfort manual. One is an owner's manual. One is an installation manual. And then we have some instructions on how to assemble the roof cap here. So we got the liners, we got the toilets, we got a couple of ventilation pieces, and that's typically all that comes within the toilet. So how does the toilet operate? How easy is it? First, go to the washroom, you grab your liner, place your liner within the bowl, you do your business, you close the lid, and you press a button. Done. That's it. The toilet's gonna to fire up. The first thing that's gonna happen is the fan is gonna turn on, the heat is gonna be applied, and with all Cinderella incineration toilets, there is a fresh air supply that the toilet needs. So the fresh air is gonna come in, it's gonna aid in the combustion and the incineration of the product, it's gonna aid in the cooling of the internal components down, and then it's gonna get exhausted out the ventilation system. So you should never ever have any bad smells or anything like that within your bathroom, outhouse, camper, RV, whatever you're using. So how does this all work when you're actually using the washroom? How does the toilet operate? Well, the second you do put this liner in and you do use a washroom, there is a magnetic sensor within the lid that's going to detect when this lid is down. And then you can press the button and these liners are specifically designed to envelop any waste that you have. So once that liner is like that, it's leak proof or resistant, your waist is here, the hatch inside is gonna open, it's gonna fall down, so it keeps everything nice, neat, and clean. The ash that remains after the cycle is stored within the ash pan, which is found at the bottom of the unit. As you can see here, the ash container is designed to hold about 120 uses. So depending on the frequency of use, you may have to empty this every three to four weeks. Uh, that all varies depending on the size of the deposit, so to speak. Um, the ash container itself is light and easy to handle and the ash itself is safe and sterile so you can dump it out into the garbage, compost bin, into the yard, uh, the same way you would dispose of uh, wood ash. So there's a couple of different types of accessories you can get. You can get liner holders that would allow you to put this onto a wall for easy access for those emergencies. Uh, we have a maintenance kit that's just going to help you clean in the toilet out when it needs to get cleaned every once in a while. So. In the manual, Cinderella says yearly maintenance, this is what you do. You're gonna kind of pull it away from the venting, you're gonna get the brushes, you're gonna scrub out the vents a little bit. All Cinderella toilets also come standard with the catalyst. So it's like a catalytic converter that you would have to pop out and just flush out every once in a while. The maintenance kit is gonna allow you to do that easily. It has specifically sized and designed brushes for you to clean those little parts perfectly. Now, yearly maintenance can differ depending on usage that's kind of like part-time usage, yearly maintenance. But if you're using it full-time, then you're gonna to wanna to clean it once 
for every box of liners that you go through. That's very important for the airflow to work properly. Because if you have a catalytic converter in there that's starting to get all clogged up, or maybe the air is not moving as good as it once did, you're going to want to make sure that's cleaned out well. There is regular cleaning that you can do, which is just grab a liner, plop it in the toilet, put some water in it, close the lid, press the button, you're good to go. It's going to steam clean the inside, steam clean the vent a bit. So simple, simple, simple. Uh, Cinderella also has a handy dandy footrest that you can use for children or anyone that might need a little step up to the toilet. Now these toilets are designed and have a special polymer blend outer shell that goes around this toilet. What that means is you can put your hand on this toilet when the incineration process is ongoing and you're not going to feel the heat. You're not going to get burnt. You're not going to hurt yourself or anything like that. This toilet lid, like I mentioned before, has a cool magnet sensor in here. So what that means, if there's an incineration cycle that's ongoing right now and you need to use a washroom, all you need to do is lift this lid. The magnet sensor is going to disconnect and it's going to pause the cycle. So that means you can use a washroom multiple times while a cycle is ongoing. What that also means too, is if you have little ones running around, they're playing by the toilet for whatever reason kids do, and uh, they lift the lid while well, it's going to stop the cycle. No one's going to get hurt and it's very, very safe. All Cinderella incinerating toilet products are highly engineered and undergo extensive testing and certification by third party labs. As of the date of this recording, the electric model has the US 41, and special protocol 157. And the propane gas model is the only fully certified incinerating toilet available in North America with the UL791, UL791CRD, CSA 5.2, and CSA 22.2. Um, there's also a sensor within this hatch that's down here, which means if that hatch opens to drop the waste down and it doesn't close properly for any reason whatsoever, the toilet's not going to operate until that does close properly. So you have to investigate, see what's going on. Maybe there's a little piece of liner that got stuck in the hatch somewhere. It's very, very um, safe. It works really well. The ash container also has a safety feature and a sensor down below. So if that ash container is not seated properly, the toilet will not operate. You have to put the ash container in, turn it all the way to the left. And then once that sensor connects, then you can start a cycle, it's gonna work. So I wanna take a moment to talk about the ventilation system now. Uh, the ventilation for both units are UL certified. They're designed for these toilets and designed to work in a specific manner. So as I mentioned before, you're gonna have fresh air coming into the toilet, works into, uh, you know, it's gonna help out with the incineration, cooling the components in the toilet down, then it's gonna get exhausted at the ventilation system. All of this has been tested to work together for optimum performance. Any deviation from what the manual states on the ventilation system uh, can alter that airflow, which then can alter how the toilet operates. So instead of getting a fine gray ash, you may get kind of like a brown clumpy gray grossness. You don't want that. So I would highly recommend following the manual specifications for the ventilation system. Some minor adjustments can be made. And if you need to make some minor adjustments, I would uh, urge you to give us a call and uh, we can have a discussion about that. All right, so over to my left here, we have the Cinderella urinal. It is unisex and um, it is waterless. Uh, the drainage system has a baffle with filter and everything like that, so you're never gonna smell anything nasty, if you will. Uh, it can be drained through the floor or through the wall. Uh, this is best used in applications where you have an incineration toilet for full-time use. So if you have a high traffic situation where you have multiple people using the washroom all of the time throughout the day, maybe you got a bunch of kids or something, or you just like the party, uh, the urinal is handy for that. So you're not going to be using electricity. You're not going to be using up propane just to incinerate and evaporate that urine. So having a urinal can definitely save some money. So what solutions can these toilets provide? Well, if you're in an area that has a lot of rock bed or you're worried about the watershed, or you just don't like composting toilets, then these are the toilets for you. Um, they are a whole septic solution, system solution. Um, so you can go number one, number two, paper towel, toilet paper, women's hygiene products, everything can go down and gets incinerated. There's nothing going to be, nothing's left but gray ash. So they work really well that way. Um, with the rising costs of septics and putting one in, um, this is going to be a fraction of the cost. It's probably about 25 to 30 percent 
um, less than a normal septic system would cost. So you're gonna save some money there. So let's talk about electricity and fuel consumption. The Cinderella Comfort, the electric model, runs at 2000 watts. The average running time can be anywhere from half an hour to an hour, let's just say. So that could be 1000 to 2000 watts within an hour. Um, the reason there's a bit of a variance in there is because the toilet can detect how long it should run. So you're never going to run, you know, a long period of time just to burn up a little bit of urine or something like that, right? So it's very, very efficient that way. Um, the propane model runs off a 12 volt battery source. That's gonna run your exhaust fan and your control board. Uh, that's at 1.3 amps during incineration. So it's very, very minimal. Propane consumption can vary. Uh, we look at a 20 pound propane tank, you're probably gonna get about 60 to 100 flushes. Again, that number varies just because, because of the size of the load. It really depends on the deposits and how long that's gonna run. So uh, I've never talked so much about poop in my life, but here we are. So in estimation for the Cinderella Comfort, you can expect to spend about 20 to 30 cents per flush. Uh, for the gas model, you're probably gonna send 30 to 40 cents per fluff flush roughly um, so it's quite um, quite efficient quite reliable very safe and very cost effective um, we have a lot of these going into tiny homes all across north america uh, people are using them for outhouses public parks golf courses um, heavy machinery you know when you get up into those cranes uh, high-rise cranes people are uh, pu actually putting these toilets in those high-rise cranes so there's a lot of different types of applications for these toilets including residential so being an off-grid uh, solution provider uh, our favorite toilet only because we're off-grid and we like to be off-grid would have to be the Cinderella gas toilet and that's simply because you can run it off a 20 pound propane tank and a 12 volt battery very very simple you have propane tanks, you have your regulator at your propane tanks, you have your gas lines going into your residence, and it shut off valve, flex line, the whole bit, and you're ready to go. I would uh, highly recommend that you have a look at the manuals. If you're gonna buy one, have a look at the warnings, make sure it is installed correctly. All right, everyone, I guess that concludes our video. Uh, with a Cinderella purchase, you get a safe, reliable, whole septic solution uh, that is best in class and highly certified. Um, if you have any questions at all about any of the products on our videos, please let us know. You can find the descriptions to the products and the accessories and everything that uh, we talked about today down in the description of the video. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, give us a call, email us, chat us up. We're here for you. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.